www.rochellearthurs.com Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping safe and well, creating great music and learning so much more about Logic Pro X. Now, if you do have any tracks that you'd like to share with me, please, by all means, send me a link to your music via my website. I will definitely check it out. And I love to support up and coming musicians in particular. So if there's any way that I can support you um, by even purchasing your music or downloading it, please let me know as I am an advocate for people creating their own music and trying to get it out there. Right, so today I'm gonna show you um, how easy it is to import an MP3 and record your vocals. So imagine you're working with different producers around the world, and some instances they might send you an instrumental via MP3 um, and ask, uh, for example, a rapper to write raps and uh, record it, or someone like me, for example, I'm a singer-songwriter, so some people might send me instrumentals to write a song for them, for their artists, or whether it's for myself. And there are some instances actually where some people might actually send you just audio vocals um, and then ask you to build a beat around the vocals. So today I'm gonna to show you how to import an MP3 and record some vocals. This will be a very quick tutorial. And just to let you know, I have done this tutorial about six or seven years ago. It was the very first tutorial actually done, and it was from that tutorial where I thought, oh, I've wanted something here and people actually are interested in what I was trying to show them. The reason why I'm doing this tutorial again is because Logic's interface has changed since then, and I think it's good to do an updated version. So I'm not gonna use a professional mic today to record my vocals for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just gonna keep it quite simple. So the first one we're going to do is open up Logic so if we go to file and new and i'm going to use audio as my chosen track type and i'm going to specify to, uh, logic to create two so the first audio one i'm going to import the instrumental and audio two i'm going to record the vocals so to import the mp3 just make sure you know where it's saved go to file import audio file and this is what I'm going to import. It's called How Deep Is Your Love um, by Calvin Harris and the Disciples, but it's the acoustic version. So much slowed down piano version and um, not the house version at all. It's very, very, very <laughs> ballad type um, instrumental. I'll play a bit of it for you now. you get the gist now remember when you import an audio file remember you can adjust that audio file and make it your own whether it's you um, add uh, some plugins or change the tempo remember you can make any of those adjustments to your uh, to your track okay so I'm just gonna go back to the beginning now here I'm gonna plug in my headphones so you're just gonna hear me sing um, without the music in the background just for the sake of this tutorial. So bear with me one moment. Before I begin, what I'm gonna do is actually uh, choose my channel strip settings that I like to use. So I use a channel strip called Fave Lead Vocal. It's a channel strip that I've created and saved. And if you uh, want to know how to create a channel strip and save it so that you can use it in other projects, please watch my previous video, which shows you how to do that. Okay, so I'm using Fave Lead Vocal Channel Strip and now I'm gonna record my vocals. My voice is a bit hoarse, so hopefully this picks up well. I want you to breathe me. Let me be your air. Let me roam your body freely. No inhibition, no fear. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? How deep is your love? Is it like Nevada? Hit me harder again. So that is me singing along with the song. Um, it is 
3.22 a.m. where I am in the world at the moment. So excuse my voice sounding hoarse, but uh, I'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial. So I am now going to play back what I've just done. that's how easy it is to import your vocals sorry import your mp3 and record your vocals and then you can carry on you know adding more and more tracks you know you can do your harmonies um uh, again you know you can open up use the plugins that logic's already got for voice you might want to find a nice uh, backing track so you might choose for example uh, uh i think if you actually write backing you might want to choose uh, R&B backing vocals as a plugin, and then you can start doing your your own uh, recordings of your harmonies and etc. and building your song. So that's how easy it is to import an MP3, record your vocals. Okay, so if you have any questions, by all means, please let me know and keep creating great music. Thank you so much for watching. www.rochellearthers.com